What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Uh, we just kind of came back where we left off last video, where we got to uh, Nekataka, something like that. Uh, uh, Seraphin said something, whatever he just said there. Uh, he points, why, this music's awesome, wildly at a half galley docked nearby. Only two hands hold uh, the deck. The remaining crew may be below decks, or they may be ashore. Who? I can't keep track of all your pirate friends. <laughs> can't keep track of all your pirate friends. Oh, High Queen Sea Devil of the Deadfire. Unfortunately, also the second best ship hunter around. After yours truly, of course. He huffs. Aloth presses his something, pride. Doxy popped a hard on and a half for hating me the tick I joined the sorcerer. Romaro shielded me from the worst of her training. When they bountied him, I figured for sure the Rat Queen would be the first rats up the gangplank. Okay, is anybody like me and understood almost half of what he just said? Malash be up in Romaro's head or I've never had a roll on the waves. She finds him for us. She'll sink him soon as sighted. Come on, Captain. He bounces on the balls of his feet. Alright, well, it's it's been a little bit since I last played, played Dead Fire. Um... Not not anything against the game. It's just I've been I haven't distracted playing other stuff. So let's uh, let's let's wander about town, I guess. No, as I'm uh, as I'm recording this, I have uh, sure. rolls of fabric and garments, various materials, blah blah blah. Can we not talk to this guy? There we go. Need a fresh jacket of pants? Something more delicate? If you have a frame, I can fit cloth to it without fuss. All right, the tailor eyeballs your shoulder with doing some mental calculations. Let me see what you have. I'll give you space to browse. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, Bardwin's cover. Jeez, that's a lot of a lot of money. Uh, steeled in darkness grants steeled in. What does steeled in darkness do? Well, I like. I, I kind of like the cape. Animancer's hat, hood. Just basically, it's just a bunch of hats and capes. Dancer's outfit. Ooh. Light armor. Yeah, okay. It's so I like what I have. Um. Like, can, can we get something that makes me, like, more captain-y? But also is better than what we have? Um. Looks good. No, I don't want to retrain anybody. All right. What was I saying? Oh, it's uh, it's about it's uh, July third. Uh, you know the day that I day that I'm recording this. So I'm 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 trying to think, like what I what I want to do. Light of spring, sun of the world, gone shepherds us all. Hmm. I I've been I've been thinking, man, what do, what do I want to do for the fourth of July? Cause I cause I feel like I should do something fun. If 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 I can. Have you seen Laro Badato? I, I feel like there's gonna be there's gonna be a quest here, but I'll, but I'll finish this thought. Um, you know what? But I but I but I thought you know what? I I think I'm I I, I think I have something because I'm trying to think like of something like American. I, this is gonna sound weird. Something Americany like that I that I could play. You know, I'm like maybe a war game, maybe a this that. But I uh, I I have something that I've been thinking about playing for a little bit that I've had on my on my PC for a while uh, that I I, re I think will be really fun. So, oh, okay, okay, game. Pause, like, stuttered there for a second. So, if uh, anybody watches this now, comes back, uh, I got, I got some, I, I got some fun planned for tomorrow, or at least I think it's gonna be fun. Where is that spoiled brat? Uh, a villain expletive or curse. A woman in fine clothes clutches a ledger in both hands. She, she searches the faces of passersby, settling on yours with an uncertain frown. Um. You all right? I'm trying to be the responsible one in the family, and it's a heavy burden. Laro is past due for a company meeting. Mother wants me to drag the elusive louse back by his ear. She tucks uh, the book under her arm. You think this district was a maze, the way he manages to hide? She glances over your shoulders and sighs, then looks back at you with sudden uh, recognition. The spirit magnet? Sientere, that I did not recognize you. If you desire to get in the graces of the Valiant Trading Company, we can help each other. What sort of clout do you have with the company? Commands the wealth of the Deadfire campaign. Oh, sorry. Uh, Nera absently pats the cover of her ledger. Could I persuade you to watch out for Laro? 
I paid generously for your trouble. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap out my glass for my reading glasses. All right, there we go. Maybe now I can actually not have to squint to read everything. So study her hands. Uh, Nara has been digging her nails into her ledger, leaving crescent moon-shaped impressions on the binding. She notices your interest and hold the and holds the book protectively close. I'm concerned because Laro tends to feud with Orso, one of the local Valera rats. Yeah, let's help her. If I, it, 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 it can't hurt to have them in our good graces. In case he happens to or return. you know what I mean. Uh, Nara thumbs over her shoulder. Oh, and his miscreant friends carouse at the tavern, the falls above the Adra Mill, and the southwestern bridge. If you see him, tell Laro to get his good for nothing ass back home. Well, we do have this thing with chasing a rogue god to the ends of Aora, but I guess if it's on the way. <laughs> Thank you, Ader. All right, let's actually let's take a look at our journal. It's been it's, it's been a while since I, I last picked this game up. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at what we what we can do here. Okay, so goods uh, goods and services. Speak with Captain uh, Adils in Fort Deadlight. I received a letter from Captain Adils. Uh, she knows I dealt with Benwith, her second in command, and now she wants to see me up Fort Deadlight. Oh right, isn't that um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off just a little bit because yeah, it's still it's still a little high uh, for our quest level. Symbols of Death, speak with Captain uh, Ferrante in uh, Dunnage. Uh, yeah, again, so that's that's way higher than what we are, Sorcerer and Gentleman. I think this is, yeah, this is for Seraphin. And Task, Salt in the Wounds, find Laro Bardato. Well, I guess we might as well, we might as well just do that for now. The Serpent's Crown District. Okay, and uh, we'll do that while we're looking for that, um, that, that palace thing. Okay. So let's, let's let's take a look here at what's what's all around. Okay, so we have hunting and sundries. Okay, so this is kind of a marketplace. Fine fashion, cobbler, training company headquarters, the wild mare. I'm going to guess it's a tavern of some sort. The road south, shipwrights, um, ba -ba -bum, back alley, docksides, arms and armor. Ooh, Bardato Estate, the road north, Man, there's there could be some some interesting stuff. Okay, first off, I'm gonna go back here and gonna go find, gonna go talk to a. Oh God, I'm lost. Uh, gonna go talk to a. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go find a an arms merchant. Risen again. He is glorious in form and purpose. Okay, some sort of. Let's talk to. Let's talk to. I can't pronounce that name. To join the performance, do you? Okay, yeah, whatever. Well met, stranger. If you feel like investing in protection, I'd be willing to trade iron for copper. The armor. The armor presents you with a friendly smile. Your selection is fine, but I'm looking for even better I equipment. I assure you that everything I sell is well crafted. Her smile wavers. I will admit I'm not quite the weaponsmith that Marihi is, nor do I possess Uto's expertise with firearms. Firearms? Marihi, you can find in Periki's Overlook, the district to the north. Uto has a shop in the Brass Citadel, in the eastern part of Nekitaka. Well, we're going to have to go find that guy because that's, uh, uh you know me. Hey, take your time. Seeing that my guy's a, a a a gun character, I still kind of find it funny that I'm I'm playing an elf. So technically, shouldn't I be I'd be playing more of a um. I shouldn't be playing a, a gun character, but hmm, what is this? Not nah, a two-hander, battle axe, hatchet, stiletto. Uh, she. What's what's Ader's shield? What's he got? Yeah, okay, he's a medium shield round. No. Yeah, it would drop his accu accuracy. Fine. Deflection eight minus four accuracy. Plus one enemies engaged. Plus two shield. Ooh, that's not bad. Except, do I want to spend that much money on it? 
That's a, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a good amount of... Good amount of money. Okay, let's see here. Thinking about what I want to do. I have four red capes? Okay, so... I mean, in all honesty, I don't think I need a lot of this stuff. Well, that's all heavy armor, but I don't have a heavy armor character. His robes, I don't really need it. God, you're getting 20 gold pieces for that? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get somebody telling me, oh, you shouldn't have traded some of that stuff. But, I mean, the way I see it is I don't, I don't really need it. So why keep it? Let's sell the simple clothing. I don't have anybody that uses crossbows. I'm, I'm basically looking for... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm basically just trying to pay for this, uh, pay for the shield, or mostly through trade. Yeah, I don't really need that axe. I don't really need that leather armor either. Why do I have a cat in my inventory? Interesting. I have a, I have a pet. I don't really need it, though, because I have my wolf. Um, yeah, again, I just have all this random armor that I just don't think I need. Once again, I'm sure I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm misunderstanding something and I could use it somewhere, but... Yeah, in all honesty, might as well, might as well sell what I don't need. Or at least what I think I don't need. Uh, then I will take that shield... And trade, and we end up coming out. Uh, we end up coming out ahead on that one. Awesome. Okay, take a look at our inventory. Okay, enchanting. Uh, unique with gold border weapons, armor, and shields can be enchanted to further increase their potency. Each Enchanting recipe requires a number of specific ingredients. When you have the ingredients to perform an enchantment on an item, it will display with a plus in the upper left-hand corner of the item of the item's icon. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so we have we make it fine with uh, Ta Andra. Ta, yeah, that's Peridot and Pyrite. Yeah, but it would also cost me a thousand copper pieces, and I'm not spending a thousand copper pieces on that at the moment. Um, and frankly, we'll trade out his shield for the better one that we just purchased. Which, why can I not find it in my freaking inventory? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's in his personal inventory. Alright, I'm like, uh, what just happened? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so, I, I know I'm doing a lot of, a lot of, just like, weird, random, kind of pointless crap right now. Um, one other place I wanted to go see before we head to the bar is the shipwrights. I want to head there so we can look at um, upgrading our ship before we keep keep rolling. Because I mean, we could uh, we can't really do any we can't really do any pirate things without a without a better boat, or a ship, or whatever. But there is opportunity. Dora must think I work for free. Okay, who the hell is Zamar? Huh. 
commoner, dock worker, dock worker, uh, dock worker. Come on, where's the Zamar, dude? Is that you? Nope, dock worker. Do, 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 sailor, dock worker. Come on, I don't like running around out here in the rain. Alright, well, I have no idea where this person is, so... My, my want to upgrade the ship will, uh have to be held off for another day. Isn't there a person who's, like, standing down here? I guess not. Alright. Well then, with that done, let's... or I guess not done. Let's go check out the... not the Valerian Trading Company. I am looking for the tavern. How is every ship hunter taken? No sooner do you approach the Valian woman than she squints and turns up her nose, regarding you with thinly veiled uh, distaste. I only deal with serious clients. Now, Shu. She makes a sweeping gesture with both hands. Excuse me? Back. Done. You are dismissed. Madiko. But it is impossible to find skilled work when every competent freelancer wastes their shore leave in the wild mare. She grimaces towards the east. When blood travels south of their brains, the value of a good bounty is forgotten. <laughs> oh, bounty? You give out bounties? Well, I, I could take one off your hands. Of the streets? She thumbs her chin and gives a thorough look gives you a thorough I looking over. Make a habit of shepherding new talent, but ugh. There is a seed of potential. She sighs to herself and peers over your shoulder before giving up and addressing you directly. We will cut your teeth on Biakara, a Juana sailor and would-be patriot who plagues company ships. I'll take it. Gelarte. Biakara sails her voyager's scale of Tangaloa off of Hazongo's northeastern coast. Uh, a Inia? Inia? I don't know. Studies you once more before shrugging and seeing you off with a wave. Before I go, I had some questions. I'm still hunting. I'm still hunting Biakara. What bounties do you have? Why aren't more? Yeah, why aren't more sailors accepting work? She folds her arms and exhales sharply through her nose. Our privateers are busy escorting shipments out of the dead fire. Everyone is rich. No one is hungry. Where are the Casitas willing to sink their enemies for a bag of pies? Huh? Drunk on success. Uh, she waves um, derisively towards the east. Okay. Well, there we go. We uh, we'll we'll probably go check that out after we check out the check out the wild mare. All right. Well, let's look around here. Commoner, uh, musician. I'm hearing somebody asking about people lifting swords. Does that mean is there somebody I can? I knew our paths would cross eventually. A valian greeting. A uh, valian shouts over the din of the wild to get your attention, turning a great many heads uh, to study your exchange. He takes a hearty swig of his tanker. Wink. I bet you say that's all your clients. You mistake me. I am not one of the courtesans. I'm screwing with you, dude. Well, I guess not literally, but you know what I mean. You are the one who sails that fine ship, Ak. Terrorize the docks with spirits, Ak. Leaning in closer, uh, leaning in close, he sips from the tanker and loudly sucks moisture from his upper lip. Uh, Jack, am, Captain of the Defiance. And I am positioned to offer. Uh, I have opportunities for. He clumsily unfolds a sheaf of parchment. The tankard slips 
in his grasp and spills ale down the front of his trousers. He gawks down at himself in horror. Sometimes I practice my speech. Merda. Never did it go this poorly. Give him, give him uh, 10 copper. Uh, you were I'm saying? I'm supposed to be in the business of giving bounties, but I know no one who hunts them. He stamps his feet, kicking up a spray of spilled ale. No one will unfurl their sail for my humble payments. But I must start from the bottom and work my way to the top, huh? Eh? What bounties do you have available? You will take the job? You will take the job. He grips you by the shoulders and smiles, tears springing uh, to the corners of his eyes. Agrasima. Something special for my first hunter, then. He drains the tankard and tucks it under his arm to retrieve his sheaf of notes. I will start you on Meriel, the mad animancer. She tortures her victims with unspeakable treatments before casting what's left to Bereth's will. My contacts saw her leaving Port Maje and heading west of Maje Island. I'll return. Alright, so we're basically just gonna go start doing... We're gonna be basically be a bounty hunter now. Okay, so for the Valiant, Valiant Trading Company... That's uh, that's two levels higher than us, so that might be a little more challenging. But we can we can go after uh, Mariel the Mariel the Mad. That shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, Animancer, long history of bloodthirsty experiments. Okay, so can I get? There we go. Last seen leaving Port Maje and heading west of Maje Island. Okay, so we can go. Like I said, we'll we'll go do that after we're done uh, kind of exploring the tavern. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's the bartender, commoner, wealthy gentleman. Yeah, let's talk to the bartender. Hail and welcome to the wild mare, friend. A jovial man at the bar grins and motions you closer. His arms are corded with thick muscle and uh, cross-hatched with scars. What can I do for you? I'm looking for some more intimate Very entertainment. Well. The Wild Mare employs a number of courtesans skilled in satisfying a wide range of tastes and interests. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Aloth rolls his eyes in his pride. Oh, shut up, Aloth. He throws you an exaggerated wink and points towards the stairs behind him. Oh, we'll go check that out. They handle their own coin, too, so no need to go through me. What do you have for sale, my friend? All right, backstage storage room. Oh, interest. Okay, so we can rest. Lasts for one rest, one cast with... Ooh, that's actually kind of cool, but is I don't think... Again, at the moment, we don't have the money to be spending on all that stuff. Okay, we could recruit adventurers, uh, crew members. As far as crew members go right now, we're pretty we're pretty good. And our party management... Um, okay, let's see here. Food, we're at 46 with food, minus 8 per day. Drink, yeah, we could, yeah, we probably, we probably should, uh, fill up on, fill up on food. Um, that's 100 gold, 100 gold for hard tack and also take 50 water. It's 200 gold. I need, I also need ammunition, but we really can't, we can't buy that at the moment. Hello. You should, well, yeah, because I'm kind of in the, uh, I'm going to guess that means I'm stealing from that chest. I'm kind of, I guess I'm like in the backstage area. All right. Um, anything else that's going on around here? Yeah! Get it, dude. Bum, bum, bum. You say I cannot down the rest? <laughs> Watch me, Aimeko. A Valian uh, sailor raises her tankard and arcs her back to invite the torrent of ale down her expectant mouth. A woman after my own heart. Holding her, uh, holding this pose with nothing to show for it, she taps the tankard's base and throws her brow at its apparent emptiness. Her companion shakes his head and focuses his attention elsewhere. It is no wonder I thirst. As she wipes her mouth with the back of her hand, her eyes widen and meet yours. Ado, why do you stare? Having much fun. 
yeah, you don't seem to be having as much fun as the rest. with the coin. She manages a wan, a wan smile. See more than an empty purse. I will be a content Randora. She sighs up at stage. Even in the oasis, I am parched. She pockets the coin and glances past you to the bar. If you grant wishes, there is a vacancy on my ship. Uh, Radora's frown cracks to reveal a shy smile. A reminder that not every seaworthy vessel will be crewed up to the standards of the sorcerer. He shakes his head. Uh, the Living Lands. Living Lands is a mountainous region. Okay, I don't know about that. As captain of the Defiant, I am already taken. Sientere, Frero. Uh, I'm sorry uh, for brother. Radora inclined her head. Time around the wheel, but... Very well. All right. Well, we were we were nice, and we gave her money for a for another for another drink. Always, always good to to help those uh, those who who need who need booze. I guess that that's probably not always a a good uh, a good rule to live by, but that's eh, what we're going with. All right. Let's see here. I know. You want to speak with me? You do it in my room. Oh, right. You want to speak with me? You do it in my room. Well, apparently, a uh, person doesn't want to talk to me. See something you like? Um, uh, you're a handsome man, but I'm I'm not into dudes. The answer turns to greet you, a coy smile tugging at his lips. Uh, he's short for an elf. No, whatever. Uh, but no less graceful for his lacking of height. Uh, his long face and dark eyes lend him a solemn air, but any hint of gloom is chased away by the wash of color in his cheeks. This is the last place I expected to see you. Have your interests changed so much since our time at Bragon Hill? A uh, grin lights up Emir's face. He fidgets with his hair, self-consciously smoothing it down where it, uh, where it's been must. Mm -hmm. No, I still enjoy tile puzzles and deflecting personal questions. Anyway, <laughs> what are you doing here? He looks away uh, as though he's trying to ignore Ymir's eager gaze. Hands on his hips, Seraphin grins, because he's also lighthearted. I could ask the same of you. He laughs lightly, a hand over his mouth. I make my own hours, meet fascinating people, and the coin's nothing to sneer at. Better than stuffy old books and unflattering robes. He casts, he casts a critical eye over Alice's outfit. He opens his mouth to speak, but decides the better of it. Introduce me to your handsome friend, Aloth. This is, this is amazing. It's good to see you again, Aloth. Anyway, I should get back to it. Be well. He smiles warmly at Aloth, blush uh, coloring the tips of his ears. Adair points affably in approval. Oh, everyone's lighthearted. It makes, it makes me smile. It was lovely seeing you. He catches himself looking panicked. Perhaps lovely is too strong a word. I meant pleasant. Uh, perfectly agreeable. He looks at you chagrined. I see where I may have confused the poor fellow in our academy days. Did you enjoy the show? There's more to see, if you're interested. Oh, I'm... I'm good, my dude. Hmm? Ahoy, Captain. Uh, if I could bend your ear a moment, uh, I'll be aiming to thank you for bringing me aboard. A furrowed hand at his belly, uh, and one heel out. He bows deeply, drooping ear, almost touching the ground. And you ain't no terrible person, neither. It'd be a welcome change from the gentleman of leisure. Tell me about the gentleman of leisure. Only the finest ship among the Principi, and Captain Ferrante, our most respected shipmaster. It were two honors and an half to be chosen to join his crew. Why were you willing to leave his crew to join mine, then? short cap, nor me neither. I know an opportunity when I board it. He chuckles. Now I'd seen what there were to be seen upon the gentleman, learn what ropes were to be learned. Methinks a watcher after a dead god will uh, thrust me into an old new set of eye openings. And believe you me, I do appreciate myself a good thrust. <laughs> he grins. Adder nods in agreement, and Aloth is still not happy to do that. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're with me, dude. Gift for you. This trinket be from one of the first ships I hunted. Malnage would have snatched it had I not found a perfect hiding spot. So, so where did you hide it? I don't know where I to tell you that. You mightn't want it no more. 
Oh, gross. Seraphin gives an innocent whistle while scratching his head as subtly as one could scratch it. <laughs> Just a jest, Cap. Nay, I tucked it away in my beard. Didn't wear braids back then, so my hair caught about everything from feathers to fish bones. Malnar shook me down for plunder after each raid, and I figured out she wouldn't go nowhere near my beard. Said my face were like a saw rip fetish. Why did Malnar treat you so badly? I know for sure, Cap. Thought at first she wanted me. Lasses be that way sometimes, treating you worse the more they fancy you. Given she tried to get me killed twice within our first fortnight together, I thought mayhap she were in deepest love. <laughs> love makes people do crazy things. Yeah, you into her? Fancy her in the least, but a man has needs, and I figured at the time that she were as wet as any other lass. Ew. Figured I'd give her a whisper about what we might get down to in the old. Her answer were an unequivocal no, made with a uh, sharpness. Might have been the closest I've ever been to death. He winces and rubs his throat. Thank you for the gift. You'd be entirely welcome. Now, if you'll pardon me, I've round about reached my limit for sentiment. How may I help? Of course. All right. Well, that's that was a nice little, little, little dialogue thing. A young woman reclines on cushions, a hookah hose held delicately, delicately in one hand. Eyes closed, she sings to herself. Her voice is soft and inviting. She doesn't move when she hears you approach, but slowly opens her eyes with a lazy smile. Come, lay your head on my breast. I will read to you the work of my favorite poet, Skilba. It's futile to attempt to summarize the whole of a person in simple words. How to capture their dreams, the desires of another, their feel and taste. Okay, you, you had me with the first thing you said, and then you, you, you've, you've lost me after that. I appreciate your curiosity nonetheless. I am an actor. <laughs> Trained from childhood. Difficult for you to believe, I'm sure. A teasing smile pulls at the corner of her lips. Her voice is wistful, almost melancholic. My troop were my family, and we traveled the whole of the Adir Empire, performing the classic literatures to cheering audiences. <laughs> Too bad you didn't do something more productive with your time. They need art, as surely as they need hearty food and bright sunshine. Uh, Annalise uh, clucks her tongue disapprovingly. Evidently, I was mistaken in believing a brute like you might understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just a little bit more practical. Have you come to hear some verse? Fair no. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not really into artsy chicks. It's, uh... Uh, okay! <laughs> a fire godlike woman, uh, polishes a pair of stocks tending to them. With the fondness of a mother for her favoring child. The room is dim, illuminated only by the glow of her steel-forged skin. Her eyes burn with the light of uh, Magrin's fire. When she hears you enter, she shoots you a look of utter contempt. I will give you an experience you won't soon forget. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that's true. I must assume the question beneath your question is how a fire godlike came to find herself in a place such as this. Uh, she leans back against the wall of chains. They clank and rattle, and she smiles at the sound. Perseverance. Being as I am, I have been forced to find it for myself. Now, I teach it to others. To, to live, live in the, the world oh, as shit. a thinking, feeling creature, it is difficult. It demands strength. But we cannot always be strong. I help those who have lost their strength to find it again. She wraps a chain around her arm and tugs. The steel links... Glow red with forge fire where they touch her skin. I like her. 300 copper. Holy hell. I know it's a bit more than most, but my service is like nothing you will find anywhere. Uh, pass. A burly dwarven man hums a jaunty tune to himself 
as he fastidiously organizes his collection of scented oils. When he hears you enter the room, he greets you with a smile and a hum uh, humongous outstretched hand. His grip is strong is and sure. For your sins? <laughs> he slaps his knee with bark laughter. Get it? Ablutions? Absolution? Ha! I crack myself up. Gets me every time. He wipes a tear from his eyes, still chuckling. Whatever you need, just ask. Um, I'm good. I'm... No, again, no offense, but I'm not into uh, other dudes rubbing me. In just about any sense of that word. God, can I get through a single video without making some sort of sexual innuendo? Hmm. What's that say about me? Love how I've I've basically just goofed around in this video for about 30 minutes, 30 40 minutes. I don't know. I, this is the thing with RPGs, man. I I find this stuff to be just some of the most fun parts of these games. Just kind of running around and exploring. I don't know. Watchers. I dislodged one trespasser from my head. I have no interest in another. Sorry, lad. Thought that chip on your shoulder were for all to see. Do you ever have a thought and just decide to keep it to yourself? More than you know. Dear inmate, more than you know. Well, too much salt in the air. Not even. Let's head back to the ship, and uh, we'll go after this bounty. I still. I, I, I still love how I'm wearing a cape for absolutely no reason. Sounds like sailor tales to me. It's there. Okay, let's head back to the Defiance. I still I also like how I'm wearing how I have a pirate flag for no reason. I'm, I haven't actually done any real pirating. Though in my defense. It's not for lack of trying. I just our ship just does not have what we need to be an effective pirate. But mainly cannons. <laughs> or enough cannons to be useful. Oh, and a, a strong hull and a <laughs> Let's set sail. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so there's the gullet. Uh, Nektaka imports wheat, cotton, textiles, exports, palm oil, rice, and regions. Hyla, Andra, uh, Mangra, Bareth. Oh, wow. It gives you a lot of, uh, like, a lot of ideas of the different, uh, Okay, well, we can leave on foot and go elsewhere. Let's check out supplies. Oh, cool. We can actually get new ships. So we can get a junk galleon, a dow, or a voyager. Definitely, we at some point want to get a galleon. What's a junk? What's the what's the comparison? Nine crew, eight crew. Okay, so a junk, I guess, is bigger. Uh, dragon wing sails. Oh, okay, so... Worm tongue. Yeah, we'll definitely want to get some of that stuff eventually. We just don't have the cash for it. But we're going to want cannon shots. How much is cannon shot? Ten? Uh, geez, I'm not into spending that much money on new on new can on on cannon shot. Um eh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off for now. Let us leave. Hmm. So let's leave by sea. Sorry, I'm just I'm 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 running through all the menus in my head trying to figure out what everything is or what's all going on where. There's some 
All right, let's see here. Um, Sango. Let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Port Maje Harbor. Set course. Because right now, who we're looking for, that's probably that's right now our uh, who we're going to be looking for, or where we're going to be setting sail to for now. I like the sea shanties. Alright, show me what you have for sale. Merchant hails you at the sea. Oh, no, leave. I as I I'd I'd love to I'd love to like start pirating. But uh, um what was I thinking? Um I as as much as I'd love to start pirating, I wanna save my I, I I'm trying to think what to call it, my um uh, my amount of cannon shot. That I have for now. Uh, you're sailing past a reef when Beodol shouts out, pointing to port. There lists a ship stranded in the middle, perched on a narrow shawl. It tips and rolls with the passing waves. Hanging from its mast is a blue flag showing an image of a crescent moon sinking beneath the waves. Your crew gathers around, murmuring, murmuring in low, excited voices. Eld Engram? Okay. Uh, rushes to the railing. Captain, that's a gift bearer ship. No telling what sorts of treasures it's got. Uh, shield sister Dahlia snorts. Um, okay. Uh, gift bearers carry sentimental junk. Worthless stuff. Not that... No, that's a smuggler ship. It's a classic disguise. Or the mad spits at the water. Then it's a fucking stupid one. Gift bearers only visit landlocked settlements. That's a trap. Prepare a skiff. Uh, oh, well, we don't have a spyglass. Ready the guns. Cannoneer cannoneers need practice. Uh, what was that about gift bearer, shield bearer, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's say thoughts. Let's ask Aleth. I, cause I, well, no, actually, because I think Seraphin was, will probably be the best person to ask, because he's kind of a, you know, kind of the, the pirate dude. To tra ain't a trap, Captain. Ship must be too, sm ship be too smashed for shit for that. Might be too smashed for shit for sh for salvage too. Ser uh, Seraphin scratches the back of his head as he peers the vessel. Yeah, we'll climb the hull. You row um, row the skiff aboard above the reefs. The waves tossing it below, and the small boat occasionally scraping across the jagged structure below. You tie off on a snag of coral next to the wreck. The water is uh, rough and the hull slick with brine, but you're able to find purchase between the shifting planks. Uh, climb up. You row the skip, skip above the. Re oh, okay, sorry. Uh, you pull yourself up using the bent planks and barnacles for holds. You almost reach the main deck when a wave slams against the ship. You hear a crash from somewhere below. Uh, as the vessel rocks, your legs slip out from under you, and your fingers dig into wet lumber. Uh, your grip holds. Once the ship settles, you resume your climb and make it uh, to the safety of the deck. The ship is deserted. You don't even find corpses. If the ship had a skiff, it's missing too. Search for salvage. You find several crates of supplies and several more of assorted odds and ends. Handkerchiefs, beads, jewelry, a cracked scrimshaw, a, a child's doll. Result, a uh, sweet, a bunch of ammunition and medicine. Kick ass, baby. Um, streetwise and perception. Awesome. I Actually, I think, yeah, that's actually what my character's good at. Uh, but then you notice a scuff marks along the deck, as if the box of junk uh, has been moved repeatedly over at the same spot. You slide it aside and find a uh, trapdoor under within rests a small chest brimming with gold shellings. By 23 gold shelling, the item was put into your stash. Awesome. Among the coins rests a small figurine of an imp and of all things. Uh, laughing imp cameo. This item was put into your stash. Awesome. Uses one per rest. Keywords, figurines, cast time, recovers. Okay. You load your find onto the skiff and row back to your ship. Results, crew earn 90 experience. Awesome. Okay, first off, well, let's check our stash. What exactly are gold shellings? Laughing imp cameo. Combat only, alright. Alright. 
I'm still not entirely sure what gold shellings are. Is that m money? Because I thought those were copper pieces or something like that. Or, I guess I still haven't fully understood. I still don't fully understand what the uh, how the currency works in this game. Oh well. Uh, still back over to Port Magé. Let's see here. Uh, seem to be uh, heading west. God, I keep getting distracted. Hard tax, so let's put that in food and make sure we have plenty of water and food. There we go. Fresh fruits. And water. Awesome. Okay, so we found Maje Island, and uh, and the person was headed west. Awesome. Ah, found you. have to find a place to dock. Minus 14 and yeah, our morale is low because we keep eating hardtack, but fresh fruit. We'll go over there and grab water. Go find Mariel, Mariel, whatever the mad. All right. Hey, watch out. All right, let's see here. So we've got a revenant. Mariel the mad, the revenant. Okay, well, one with my guy. I'm gonna go back to my Let's go. And I'm gonna shoot. With um I'm gonna use knockdown forty-four versus 43 defense, so he's going to use that move. Aloth, let's use your Necrotic Lance. Necrotic Lance uses uh, Strength or Constitution or whatever it is. Use that on Meryl the Mad, and he's using his Hand Mortar and Blunderbuss, so go after that Revenant. Oh, and I forgot about Frederick. Frederick uh, will also have you use takedown on that revenant. Go. Okay. Take a look here. Okay, we could use aimed shot, but attacks are far more accurate, but it'll take a while, a lot longer for me to shoot. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I need to use that at the moment. Use accurate wounding on that revenant. All right, problem one. Fan of flames. Okay, uh, nope, that'll hit our own dudes. Don't want to do that. Let's use jolting touch. Jolting Touch attacks. K 
Okay, so let's hit the revenants. Hit that revenant. Seraphin. What exactly does that move affect? It affects. Yeah, it's that won't uh, won't work against that guy. The revenant. So we'll use that. Ed air. When you into the fray, fighter lunges and pulling an enemy into immediate melee range. Penetrating strike. Have him use penetrating strike. Oh, no, that's a 34. Have him use knockdown on that guy and Aloth. Yeah, okay. Aloth, right now, he's using minor missiles. Okay, I don't have a level two. Okay, I can use one of my level three spells. Uh, can, uh, draining touch, crackling bolt. We use crackling bolt. Again, knock down on the constraint. And pull back and switch to your pistols. Go. And now we're all just down to the bounty and we win. What for, Cap? Here we go before we start. There we go. Target the party. There we go. I guess we'll just take all that stuff and... To me. Meryl the Mad, find Rod, find Padded Armor, Stone of Power, a Hood, and... Copper. Awesome. We'll just take all of that stuff. Take a look at our inventory. Aloth would be the one to make use of this. He uses uh, he uses scepters, not a rod. Uh, yeah, okay. So he doesn't use he doesn't use that stuff. How about this light armor? Base five, base six. Yeah, but I kind of want to keep him with overseeing um, of his what his armor currently has, just to keep the air the uh, the AOE effect. Yeah, it's got it's that it's that one thousand. Copper, uh, the 1000 CP that I don't like. Oh, cool. So you can mess with the color of your clothes as you see fit. I actually like the red and black, personally. Hey, my dude's eyebrows, though. I don't know why that bugs me so much. Um, what's he wearing? He's wearing medium armor. All right. Well, I think that's that went about as well as it could. Let's see here. Let's check the journal. I think now all that's left is to return to uh, return to the guy at the wild mare. <laughs>